Okay, the second topic that I wanted uh, to talk you, to you about is uh, a modification of Langlois Berg, uh, which is called the E.D. Hofstede plot. Okay, what we're trying to do here is uh, uh, try to determine the parameters that determine enzyme efficiency, and those are Vmax and Km, which, as we know, and uh, as we will re review later, they are related to these rate constants, K sub E, K sub A, and K sub A prime. Uh, now, this is the rate law for an equilibrium momentum uh, mechanism for an enzyme such a reaction, and uh, the key is, well, how do we get Vmax and Km? Uh, I've shown you before that doing this from the regular uh, bit plot in this, this rate law is very inconvenient because it's not obvious how you can get Vmax and then Km. Uh, a much uh, more convenient way to do this is to uh, transform this into a linear plot by doing the language work uh, representation, which is what we've done in the prior video. From here, you can get uh, Km Vmax by just uh, uh, you know plotting a few experimental points, uh, and you're good to go. Now, uh, in class next day, we will actually see that there are actually issues with this representation, uh, and there's a better representation of the language work that you still have not uh, been taught about, and there is an E.D. Hofstede plot again. What I'm trying to convince you here is that E.D. Hofstede is actually a far superior method to get Vmax and Km than language work plot. All right, so how do you actually get an E.D. Hofstede plot? Uh, we depart from the language work representation. Okay, so this is the equation of the uh, line according to uh, Langwerk and uh, Burke. Okay, uh, 1 over the concentration of S plus uh, 1 over Vmax. All right, so what I'm going to do now is tell you uh, how to actually, uh, how to modify this. And then what I want you to do is hit pause, try to solve it until you find the question of a line, and see what you you have to plot in the y and x-axis to get Km and Vmax from uh, the intercept slope. Okay, so the hint is that you have to multiply everything by the rate and times Vmax. Okay, so again, you multiply everything by V times Vmax, the rate uh, times Vmax. All right, so now it's time to hit pause, and then I'll meet with you in just a few minutes. All right, let's assume that you have already uh, hit pause and you've worked through this on your own. And the idea is, well, uh, what is the result here? All right, so you multiply everything by the rate and Vmax. All right, so here on the left-hand side of the equation, you will have V times Vmax over V. And then here you have Km over Vmax, V, Vmax, concentration of S, plus V times Vmax over Vmax. All right, so as you can see, there's going to be a good deal of cancellation throughout. Uh, here on the left-hand side of the equation, we have V, and the rate cancels out. Here we have that Vmax cancels out. And here we have that Vmax also cancels out. Okay, so this expression turns out to be uh, Vmax is equal to uh, Km V over concentration of substrate plus the rate. Okay? Now the question is, well, is this the, the equation of a, a line or not? Notice that uh, what we have at our disposal to plot is the rate and the concentration of substrate. So uh, that has to be somehow, or modifications of those have to be uh, in the y-axis and the x-axis. What we want to get is Km over Vmax. Okay, so uh, the question is, well, what is y and what is x in this graph? What I'm going to do is actually put the rate as the y-axis. Okay, so I'm going to solve this expression for uh, the rate, and this is going to turn into uh, minus Km, the rate of the concentration of S, plus Vmax. Okay? So now I can uh, uh, make this be the equation of a line if uh, the rate happens to be y, the x is the, con uh, is the rate over the concentration of substrate. These are the two uh, uh, variables that we can plot. And then that will be the slope, and this will be the intercept. Okay, so in this case, again, uh, the rate will be y. x will be uh, the rate of the concentration of substrate. And then the slope will be minus uh, km. And then uh, the intercept with the y-axis will be uh, the max. Okay. So let's see how this turns out to be. Here you have the rate, and here you have uh, the rate over the concentration of substrate. And notice that this is a question of a straight line whose slope is minus Km. Okay, so this should be a line with a negative slope. Uh, suppose that you actually plot four points here. Uh, according to this, this uh, if this follows Michaelis-Menten, 
uh, those four points should be uh, well fit by a straight line whose slope is going to be minus km. Slope is equal to minus km. Okay, and the intercept with the y-axis right here, that is going to be v max. All right. So why is this method advantageous over uh, Langweber-Berg? Lang well, uh, notice that this Langweber-Berg and this is E.D. Hofstede, which I'm going to say is E.H. Okay, notice that uh, if you actually have an error determining 1 over Vmax right here, if there's a large error in this intercept, then the error of Vmax is going to be pretty large. If that's the case, since Km, uh, uh, to determine Km, you actually need to know Vmax beforehand, if this Vmax already has a lot of error, then Km is going to have also a lot of error. Here, notice that you can actually determine them independently, right? And you don't have to do those type of operations. The slope is directly minus the Michaelis um, and, uh, constant, and the intercept is directly uh, Vmax. So, so this seems a much simpler representation than like we Burke. As we will see in class next day, there's actually an additional complication of this expression which makes, uh, makes this one superior in addition to, uh, you know, being much simpler than Langweber Burke. Okay, so this is the E. E. Hofstede plot. Uh, there will be a couple of uh, homework problems about this. And uh, we just have one more topic, okay?